Okay, we're sitting in a King Air B100 with Garrett Dash 10 engines, and we're gonna show you how simple it is to start these engines. All right, so we're gonna demonstrate starting the engines of a Garrett uh, TPE331-10 engine on a King Air B100. The B100 goes about 280 knots or sometimes faster. It's very fuel efficient, 80 gallons an hour or so. And look at that range, over a thousand nautical miles. The cabin of the B100 is the same as the King Air B200 and the 250. So the King Air B100 is really a special airplane in the King Air series. Okay, so let's get on with starting the Garrett Honeywell TPE331 engine. And let's dispel this myth that they're really hard and tricky to start because the reality is the start procedure is not that dissimilar from any other turboprop. These engines are direct drive engines, which means that everything spins together. That makes them very fuel efficient, but it does make the starting procedure a little bit different. Okay, so let's climb in the cockpit and get these engines started. So, of course, you want to follow your checklist, um, and the first thing you want to do is make sure the plane is in the proper condition for starting engines. So, that would mean making sure you have good voltage. That's, of course, critical for any turbine start. Uh, turn on the fuel boost pumps for both engines. Make sure the power levers are in the start or ground idle position. And then make sure that the propellers are in the unfeather or kind of the flat position. That's really important given that these are direct drive engines, a little different than uh, Pratt & Whitney. And then it's time to start the engine. So it all comes down to this switch here, which is the engine stop, run, and start switch. There's three positions. Uh, the top is kind of the spring-loaded position. And we're just going to go from the off position or the stop position to the middle position, which is run. And then to initiate the start sequence, just go to start. And the propellers will start spinning, and the start sequence will have begun. And uh, we're going to hold that switch in the up or the start position. We're gonna see fuel flow and then ignition, which is light off. The RPMs start moving upward and we wanna see a steady, consistent increase in RPMs. And the next thing to watch is EGT. EGT is gonna to start to rise. That's of course light off and the engines are in, in full starting mode. Now here's the thing, we're gonna kind of toggle the start switch on and off to try to keep the EGT about 75 degrees below the red dot, right at around 700 degrees. So you just keep toggling that switch while you carefully watch your EGT and your RPM. You want to see a rise in RPM, and you want to keep that uh, EGT below the red dot. And then once the, uh, the RPMs accelerate, the EGT will stabilize, um, and then the EGT will start to kind of fall off, and that means you've had a nice, good start. And at that point, you can remove your finger from the start-stop button. And you've had a nice, good start. And the next step, of course, is to uh, give the generator power. We'll see amperage go up as we're charging that battery back up. Now, after you start both engines, um, one thing that you're going to want to do is release the uh, props from the locks. And that's simply a procedure where you go into beta for a split second. All right, so we've had a good start here. So there is one more thing we need to talk about, which is NTS, negative torque sensing. That is uh, the Garrett version of sort of auto feather. And you typically test it during the start procedure. And you do that simply by, before starting the engines, uh, flipping up the NTS switch. You hold it for a few seconds and you wait for the NTS light to come on. Then, as that start sequence begins, you're looking for that NTS light to extinguish. And that means that you have tested your NTS system. And let's talk a little bit about the emergency shutdown procedure if you were to have a hot or hung start. The red dot indicates the maximum temperature for start. So if you were to have a temperature rise to uh, rise to that red dot, you would immediately go to the stop position on that three, three position switch. And as an extra precaution, you can turn off the red fuel lever uh, to, to uh, eliminate any fuel going to the engine. And that would be your emergency shutdown procedure. So that's it. That's uh, starting and operating a Garrett engine. Uh, they're great engines. They're direct drive engines. They're very efficient. And um, I think once you get the hang of it, uh, they're just as easy to operate as, as any other turbines out there. So enjoy and, and fly safe. <music>